Welcome to Focus Fix, where we take a moment to fix our eyes on Jesus. We're out here at Millrace Park. Uh, myself and Brian Walker really appreciate him filming a lot of these Focus Fix moments and so much that he's doing behind the scenes. Uh, I want to draw your attention to one of my favorite passages in Scripture, and I think it's an appropriate time to share this passage because uh, we're at a point in Jesus' ministry just after the triumphal entry, which we're going to be celebrating here in just a few days on Palm Sunday. But in that uh, those first couple of days uh, in Jerusalem, Jesus is in a uh, kind of a, not a, a great conversation with the Jewish leaders as happened on several occasions throughout his ministry. But in this particular occasion, Jesus says some words that I think refill, uh, reflect a lot of tenderness in Jesus, but also at the same time point to his deity as well. In these words, Jesus, overlooking the city of Jerusalem, says this, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and those sent to you, how often I have longed to gather you together as a hen gathers her chicks together under her wings, and you were not willing. You know, first of all, we see some tenderness there, don't we? That Jesus, even though he has been rejected by the Jewish leaders, he still wants to save them. He wants to save all people. All of us have rejected God in some way, shape, or form in our thoughts, in our deeds, the things that we haven't done that we should have done that he's called us to do. And yet, despite all that we have done, God still sends his son Jesus to die for us. But like I said, this passage, I believe, also points to Jesus' Jesus's deity. As Christians, we believe that Jesus is God incarnate. He is God in the flesh. He is 100% man. He is also 100% God. And that is affirmed in, in multiple of ways, whether it's the miraculous conception or the different ways that he demonstrates his authority over every sphere of creation and his miracles uh, over nature, over disease, over uh, even death itself. And certainly, Jesus points to his deity through his very words, culminating in identifying himself as I am. Th that's a title that only God uses. And to say I am is blasphemy if it's not true. That's why some of the Jewish leaders wanted to stone Jesus because they saw that claim as, as blasphemy. Well, again, it's only blasphemy if it's not true. And yet in this passage, in this lament over Jerusalem, Jesus is, I think, subtly pointing to his own deity. When he says, Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, it's as if Jesus is taking it personally, the rejection of Israel's leaders of the prophets. And yet, who sent the prophets to set Israel right? It was God. Just a suggestion that Jesus himself sent those prophets. But then even more so when he says, how often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings and you were not willing. How often I have longed to gather your children together. Those aren't the mere words of somebody who has only walked the world for 33 years. These are ancient words. And we hear them again, or hear them before in Psalm 36, when God says, how priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. I just wanna encourage you to fix your eyes on Jesus, knowing though, that no matter what you have done, Jesus came, he came to die for you so that you could be gathered under God's wings.